Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Now we are going to discuss about ports on circuit in 8051 microcontroller. The previous video we discussed the concept of port 0 and port 1. Now we focus on port 2 and port 3. It's a simple structure of uh, port 2 and port 3. This port 2 consists of D flip flop and control logic circuits, one transistor and internal cooler resistors. This port 2 basically performing the dual function. The function based on the control signal. When the control signal value equal to 0, this port act as normal I/O mode. Suppose this control signal equal to 1, this time it performing the alternate function. Here alternate function is getting the higher order address A8 to A15. When the microcontroller accessing the external memory, that time you need higher order address location A8 to A15. That location you can get from the port 2. Now we go for the function of port 2. Case 1, it acts as input. Just the microcontroller accessing the input from external side. P2.x, this P2 represent for port 2. This X represent for the lines, the input line. In this port 2, it containing 8 lines, 0 to 7, you can represent any one line. For example, P2.2. In this port 2, the second line, whatever data I post, that data is entered to the microcontroller. Let us consider the value is 1. The input value is 1. This value is entering through internal bus and microcontroller. First, this value, choose the port. Here, there are two possibilities of uh, entering point. This point is a high impedance port. There is no way to enter the data. You can choose this port only. The one is bridge the input of tri-state buffer. When the read pin value equal to 1, this time the input value is connected with the output side. Finally, it reaches the internal bus and microcontroller any one of the register. It's an input function of port 2. Suppose this port 2 carry the output signal. After execution of microcontroller, this pin value is 1. Let us consider the internal bus value equal to 1. This 1 is transferred to the D flip flop, input of D flip flop. You know the properties of D flip flop. The input value is equal to the output value when the clock signal equal to 1. When the clock signal equal to 1, that time, whatever value you post in the input of D flip flop, that same value is propagated to the output side. Here, the Q value is 1. No need of uh, Q power value, you just get a Q value, Q value equal to 1. This value is posed to the max. Already I told the max concept in previous video. Here also using the 2 is to 1 max, you can give the 2 input, finally you get a single output. It's a 2 is to 1 micro max. Here the control signal is a selection line. Based on the control signal, you can get the output value from the microcontroller of address signal. Here the control signal value equal to 0. This max switch is connected to the Q signal. Okay. The Q value equal to 1. This value is transferred through this line, this switch line. Now input of the inverter is 1. Output of inverter 0. This value is transferred to the transistor. T1. Now this transistor is turned off. The puller resistor, the VCC is directly connected to output through the puller resistor. Now the input value is 1. Finally, you can get the result is also 1. That's a output function. Suppose this port is performing the alternate function. Okay. So alternate function means you can get the higher order address location A to A15 you can get this address location whatever value you can fix the content is transferred to the output side now the control signal value equal to 1 this port is ready to accessing the higher order address 
Now let us consider the address value is 1. This address value is 1 when the control signal value equal to 1. Now both the input of AND gate is 1. The properties of AND gate both the input are high level. The results also high level 1. The address line 1 control signal value equal to 1. This MUX switch is connect to address. This MUX switch is connect to the address. Now this data is transferred to the input of buffer. Output of inverter is 0. In this case also the transistor T1 is turn off. The pull up resistor is directly connect to output side. You can get the result is 1. Suppose this address value is 0. In this case inverter or input is 0. Output of the inverter 1. This transistor turn on. The VCC directly connect to ground. The result is 0. Whatever value here present, the same value only propagate to the output side. It's a basic function of port 2. Now we go for the function of port 3. It's a simple structure. This port also doing the dual function. The first function is adapters input in or output. The alternate function receive data, transmit data, T0, T1, INT0, INT1. So these are the alternate function for this port 3. Receive data means receive the data. Serial input, transmit means serial output. T0, T1 is represent for the timer 0 or timer 1. You activate the timer 0 or timer 1. INT0 and INT1 is a interrupt signals. In which functions you need based on the alternate function input you can choose the functions. The first function is IO. It operating in input. You can choose any one of the pin from P3, port 3. Let us consider P3.4. Here P3 is a port 3, 4 is a fourth line. Here the input value is 0. This 0 is transferred to the internal microcontroller. Here also there are two possibilities of uh, transferring the input. The first possibility is this one. But it is a high impedance path. No data transfer to the microcontroller. You can choose this path. First this 0 input value is entering the alternate input function. Here the alternate input function is similar to the receive data. Receive the serial data. First you enable this try state buffer. When this value equal to 1, this buffer is enabled. The input of uh, this buffer is connected to the output. This value is given to the input of uh, read pin, read latch. This value equal to 1. Just connecting the input value to output. This 0 is transferred to the internal bus. That is a flow of input direction. Suppose this port acts as an output. You can find the flow. Let us consider the internal bus value equal to 1. This content is an input of D flip flop. The right to latch the clock signal equal to 1. The D flip flop is enabled. Once the D flip flop enable whatever value is input of D, the same value only propagate to output. This input, sorry, this output value is go to the NAND gate. Based on the alternate function, you can check the output functions. Here, this value equal to 1. The alternate function is 0. So, alternate function is 0. Sorry, alternate function is 1. You can transmit the data. So, alternate function is 1. Both the values are high level. The result is 0. So, this transistor is turn off. The VCC directly connect to output through the pull up resistor. Finally, you can get the result is 1. Here, the internal bus value equal to 1. The same value only goes in the output side. Suppose this port acts as an alternate function. You can choose the function 
based on this value you can receive the data or transmit the data or you can choose the time of circuits or atomic circuits so basic function of uh, port 2 and port 3 thanks for watching my channel please subscribe thank you